Hi everybody, welcome to a new Python tutorial. Today we're going to talk about dictionaries in Python. A dictionary is a collection data type that is unordered and mutable. It consists of a collection of key value pairs, so each key value pair maps the key to its associated value. And let's have a closer look at dictionaries and what we can do with them. First of all, a dictionary is created with braces and inside these braces you put each key value pair separated by a colon. So let's say key name and then colon and then the value max and then you separate each item with a comma. So comma and then let's put in another key value pair h colon 28 comma and another one city colon New York and if we print this then we see all the key value pairs here and we can also use uh, the dict function to create a dictionary and there we put all our keys as arguments so name equals Mary comma age equals 27 comma city equals Boston and if you print this we see that we have a second dictionary here and note that with this function you don't have to use quotes for your keys. Now when you want to access the values you do that by saying my dict and then inside brackets you give it the key. So if we print the associated value for the name, then we get max. And if we want to look up the age, we get 28. And what will happen if we use a key that is not inside our dictionary? For example, check the last name. Then this will raise an exception a key error, so be careful here. A dictionary is mutable, so you can add or change items after its creation. So when we want to add an, uh, a key value pair, we simply do it like so. We say my dict and then inside brackets give it a new key. Let's give it an email and then the associated value max at xyc.com and if we print it then we see that our dictionary now has the email key value pair here. Now if we do the same thing again and the key already exists then it got gets overwritten so let's say email is cool max then we see that it still has the key email and now with our new value. If we want to delete items we have several options. We can say we can use the del statement so say del my dict and then of the key name and then if we print it then we see that the name key value pair is no longer inside our dictionary or we can use the pop method so we can say my dick dot pop and then give it the key let's pop the H so now we see that the H is no longer inside our dictionary or we can use the pop item method so prior to Python 3.7 this removes an arbitrary pair and since Python 3.7 this removes the last inserted item so in this case it's Python 3.7 and then it removes the city. So we see the city is no longer inside our dictionary. When you want to check if a key is inside our dictionary then there are two common ways to do that. The first one is to use an if in statement. So we say if name in my dict and then we can use this key, we can say print my dict 
name. So then Max gets printed. If we say last name and want to print it, then the if statement is wrong. So this doesn't get executed. So nothing is printed here. Or you can use a try except except statement. So try and then access a key. So let's say my dict name and except print. Let's just print error. So if we run this, then this statement is successful. So it can print the name. And if we uh, want to access the last name, then this statement will raise an exception, a key error. So an exception is thrown, which is caught here. So this statement then will be executed. So if we run this, then we see that we have the error here. When you want to loop through a dictionary, you have several different ways with an for in loop. So you can say for key in my dict and then print the key. Then you can see that this loops through the dictionary and loops through all the keys. You can also say dot keys. So this will do the same thing. The keys method returns a list with all the keys inside it. You can also loop over the value. So you can say for value in my dict dot values and then print the value and then it prints the values. Or if you want to have both in one loop, you can say for key comma value in my dict dot items and then you can print the key and the value. Now, when you want to copy a dictionary, you have to be careful. So the most common way to do it is like, so let's say my dict copy equals to my dict and just assign uh, to the original my dic uh, dictionary. And now if you print this, then we see that it's the same as the original one. But now if we modify the copy, this will also modify the original one. Let's say my dict copy and add the email. Um, max at xyc.com. Now if we print the copy and the original one, then we see that both dictionaries now have the new key value pair. And this is because with this simple assignment statement, both dictionaries now point to the same dictionary inside our memory. So be very careful if you use this expression. If you want to make an actual copy, you can use the built in copy function. So if we use this one, and print it, then we see that the original one didn't change. Or you can use the dict function. And as an argument, you pass the dictionary that you want to copy. So if you use this, then we see that the original dictionary also didn't get affected. Now there's a useful um, method to merge two dictionaries that is called the update method. Um, let's create two dictionaries. And the first dictionary has a name, an age and an email. And the second dictionary also has a name and an age, but no email, but then it has a city. And if we want to merge these, we can do it like this, say my dict dot update and then with the second dictionary. And now if we print this, then what happened? Um, all the existing keys are 
key value pairs got overwritten so the name is now Mary the age is now 27 the email didn't change and the non-existing keys the city got added so yeah that's a nice way to update two dictionaries let's talk about uh, possible key types so in all the examples before I used a string as a uh, key but you can use any immutable type for example you can also use numbers as a key or even a tuple if it only contains immutable elements Mm, for example, we can say my dict and then key 3 and as a value give it uh, the squared value. Then a key 6 and 36 and the key 9 and 81. Now let's print this. So this is also possible, but then you have to be very careful because when you want to access a value like so and you want to do it like with lists and you re uh, refer to the index number, for example, say index zero, then this will raise an exception because you have the key error zero is not in our list. What you rather want to do is you want to use the actual key. so. The key 3 is uh, not, um, 9 and then if you print the value then we see we get the 9. So yeah we also can use a tuple as a key so let's say my tuple equals 8 7 and then create a dictionary and as key we use the tuple and as value we use the sum. Now if we print this then we see we have our new tuple here and or our new dictionary here and yeah so tuples are also possible but uh, what is not possible for example is a list. If we use a list here and run this then this will throw an exception type error unhashable type that is because a list is mutable and can be changed after its creation and therefore it's also not hashable and cannot be used as a key so be careful here and yeah that's all about dictionaries I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial where we talk about sets in Python